Churchill, I've found the lost city. It's... Oh. Where, Scott? Where is the lost city? It's no good. <laughs> Isn't that... I say, Rashley, have you seen this fantastic... No dash. Beautiful. Do you realize, Dr. Charles, that such a diamond could only have come from one place? Yes, indeed, Fraulein Pagola. That is why I contacted the authorities immediately I returned. Ah. So you must have known that this diamond could only have come from the lost city, correct? Well, I thought it possible, yes. But you see, my orders were... Orders? I give the orders. Once Herr Teufel has interrogated your prisoner, you will return to Africa with us. Interrogate? That isn't a... I'm afraid that would not be possible. Not possible? Bye. 
when we docked in Lisbon, the prisoner, unfortunately, he escaped. What? <coughs> Who was responsible? You? Me? No, him, Herr Muller. Me? It's not fair. A whole week and we haven't tortured anyone. I was so looking Stop forward. Stop whining, Heinrich. Tell me what you found out about those two Englishmen who were killed. Both of them, agents. And I understand British intelligence are about to call in the colonel. What him again? Those diamonds are worth millions. If the British get hold of them, the colonel must be removed immediately. For once, I have anticipated you, Lola. A message has been sent to my brother Herman in London. Eliminate the colonel and Jane. Yeah, Jane. We mustn't forget her. Indeed, no. <laughs> Clear Fritz. You can come out now. Good. I'll be just in time. Colonel, been admiring the view. Always find it fascinating. The little ships coming and going, loading and unloading. And still, come along, mustn't be led. This is a very important briefing we're going to, Jan. What's it all about? Can't tell you. All I know is it's top secret and could alter the whole course of the war. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll leave the web. Uh, just a moment, sir. Wonder what happened to those poor devils. If you ask me, sir, you're going on board what is commonly known as a plague ship. Rubbish. Ha! Huh. What do you think so? One thing's for certain, you can't go to the briefing looking like that. Tombs. Thank you, Tombs, for a gentleman. You know, miss, a servant is not allowed to be a gentleman. Tombs. Why don't I wait in the car, sir? You'd better wait in the car, Tombs. Yes, sir. I shall wait in the car, sir. What a good idea, sir. Come along, Jeff. Time, Captain. Perhaps you'll care to show us the way. Oh, uh, yes. Please. Uh, yeah. Follow me. Uh -huh. 
this lost city. Um, which one, sir? Eh? The one in Africa where this race of warriors built their city. Which no one has as yet found. That's the place. Well, as you know, legend has it that hidden in that lost city is a fabulous hoard of diamonds worth hundreds of millions. Of course, being born in Africa, you're probably familiar with the legend, Colonel, how this weird sect of leopard warriors came over from India in the 14th century, and they uh, proceeded to build this enormous city in the jungle. Damn it, Fawcett. The man does not want a history lesson. He knows all about the place. Uh, uh, quite. Well, cut a long story short, sent three chaps in, two killed, but now have evidence that these diamonds do exist. We need those diamonds, Colonel. <clears throat> this great nation of ours is hard pressed. And alas, the weapons of war, which we urgently need to stem the tide of Nazi aggression, will have to be paid for. They do not come cheap. How can I help, Mr. Prime Minister? Oh, quite simple. You and your charming assistant will go to Africa. You will find the diamonds, and you will persuade the leopard warriors to allow us to keep them. Oh, it's getting damn chilly in here. Would you please close the porthole, my dear? Right, sir. Did someone say two of our chaps were killed looking for this place, sir? Third chap captured by the Germans. Luckily, he escaped and came back here. You may have seen him as he left the ship. Poor fellow had the devil of a time, completely lost his grip. Not entirely. Yes, I believe I did. Notice him. Take off O, 700 hours tomorrow morning. They're landing here. Airstrip near Abu Abu. <clears throat> By a simple process of deduction, the lost city must be somewhere there. I see. I'm sorry to have to tell you, Colonel, but I'm afraid the Nazis are onto this. Their war machine needs diamonds just as much as we do. It is imperative that they do not fall into their hands. Trust me, sir. This country will have those diamonds. Good man. Well, my dear, the lights may have gone out all over Europe, but I'm sure that you will shortly illuminate the dark continent. I couldn't believe it. To meet Mr. Churchill, of all people, and to be dressed like this. Must go. Perhaps we'll meet again, Charles. Oh, I, I do hope so, Jane. <laughs> Anchors away. <laughs> Still no harm done. Wake up, Jules. You sure you packed the salt tablets? Yes, sir. Water purifier? It's there, sir. Ah. What about my collapsible camp beer? It's there as well, sir. You absolutely sure? I can see it from over here, sir. Fuck. Uh, Come down, move. Come down, move. Come down, move. Come down, move. 
Hey, pocket money, hey, money, 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 money. Out of my way, pig. that piece of wood will not bring your brother back to life. I know, I know, but just to throw his body into the river, and they never even bothered to touch him. He would have liked that. Herman enjoyed pain. He's dead. Forget it. But he was my favorite brother. Never once did he blame me for what I did to his foot when we were children. I said forget it. Lola! Carl! Excuse. Liebchen. Carl, darling, it's been a long time. Berlin, 1936. You are as beautiful as ever. I see you are still smoking those awful Egyptian cigarettes. But of course. I like to live dangerously, darling. So, you got my cables, Anna? Abu Abu. The place is a hellhole. An old trading post. There's nothing there but an old, broken-down Never hotel. mind what it's like. Can you get us there? Is this coming with us? Yeah. Gentlemen, this is Karl Donner. And please be nice to Heinrich, otherwise he'll put a knife in your back. So, why Abu Abu? You've heard of the lost city? And the diamonds? Who hasn't? Dr. Shell here is going to find them for us. Aren't you, Doctor? Well, well, I think I have a good idea. From looking at books? Listen, Lola, I am the greatest hunter in Africa. I will find that lost city for you. And how are you going to do that, big man? Simple. First, I will find a witch doctor and ask questions. If he does not answer me, I shall strangle him. Then I shall find another witch doctor. Soon, somebody will tell. Good. Mm. When do we start? Mm. Everything is arranged. You will be in Abu Abu tomorrow. Splendid. I knew I could count on you. You do everything so perfectly. There is one thing I should warn you about, Lola. The landing strip at Abu Abu is nothing but a flattened piece of dirt. However, not to worry. I am used to landing in such places. I trust you completely, Carl. Ah, oh, yeah. There is one thing you should know. The British are also after these types. Oh, no, they're not, Lola. I have taken care of them. How? My brother Herman was a very good assassin, but my little brother Hans, he is the best, an artist, a master. If Jane and the colonel are not dead already, they will be very soon. Forget about them. Hmm. I didn't know you were born in Africa, Colonel. Oh, yes. Mother was out there at the same time. How long did you live there? Oh, it must have been six months. That's all. Yes, well, Africa gets into the blood pretty quickly, you know. Should be there, so. Ah, be landing shortly, will we? Oh, yes, Colonel. You will be landing in one minute. Ah. Excuse? Tell me, Colonel. Can you fly a plane? Afraid not. <laughs> Can anyone here fly a plane? Good. I dedicate this beautiful moment to the Führer and to my beloved brother, Herman.
Adios, Dunkopf. Hallo. Hallo. My God, he's taken the last parachute. Well, no, he hasn't, Colonel. He's taken your camp bed. Wait a minute. If he's the pilot, who's flying the plane? Hang on, Jen. Just coming. Colonel, you've got to do something! Like what? Well, where are the brakes? There's not even a steering wheel. I think I'm getting the hang of this. What about the wheels? Good thinking, tools. Must be one of these damn things. Colonel, what have you done? What? Uh, I, um, um... He's only switched the ruddy engines off, hasn't he? Look, there's land ahead. I hope we can make it. We're losing height too fast. Be full of sharks down there. Oh, shut up, Toons. It's no good. We're going to ditch. Hold on! Shall I lay out your bathing costume, sir? <laughs> Good Lord, did we swim that far? Incredible. Certainly is. I can't swim. Well, what do we do now? Make for Abu Abu. As I remember from the map, it's not too far from the coast. Just how far, Colonel? About, um, about that much. Hadn't we better make a start? It'll be dark soon. Right. Right, come on, Fritz. Now then, which way, Colonel? That way. You're right, Carla. Abu Abu is a hellhole. Yes, but soon you will smell the clean, fresh air of the jungle. My jungle. Why are you crying, Heinrich? I'm weeping for my brother Hans. That is Hans? Yeah. He's not very big. No, would you be if you'd been thrown out of a plane at 10,000 feet? How do you know that? He was a witness to it all. Those English spines, they strapped him to the camp bed and just threw him out. So, the Colonel and Jane are still alive. But the plane was out of control. It would have crashed. I wonder. If you ask me, we're loose. No one is asking you. And don't go falling asleep. You're on watch. You know, Colonel, all day I've had the strong feeling we were being followed. Ah, <laughs> imagination. Can play devilish tricks like that. I think we haven't seen anyone, though. Ah, well, it's late, you see. Probably go to bed early. Not to worry, Jane. Tomorrow we'll meet up with some friendly natives. They'll show us the way. It'll all seem better in the morning. Colonel, it is morning and it isn't any better. Well, if you ask me, that lot doesn't look too friendly. Careful, Jan. Don't annoy them. Ten moons ago, you promised. District officer, take no more slaves. 
Bye. Pick him up and go. <sighs> My name's Buck, Jack Buck. Most people call me Jungle Jack. Me, Jane. That is a big one. You ain't seen nothing yet, baby. Shh. What is it? Thought I heard a snake. Where? Shh. About 400 yards ahead. Listen. Okay, it's only a lizard. I didn't hear a thing. Just silence. <laughs> Jane, Africa's never silent. Look, all you have to do is close those pretty eyes of yours and listen. Really listen. Go ahead, try it. I heard it. All around us. Yes, my Africa. Didn't hear a damn thing. How much further to your camp, Jack? It's only another four miles, Colonel. There's one thing you haven't told me. What happened to your pilot after you ditched? What? Oh, uh, yes, the, uh, the pilot. Uh, it was uh, Miss Jane, what we see, flying the plane, sir. A lady aviator. <laughs> well, I'd be darned. Well, you really are something, Jane. Come on, darling. Look, I know he seems a decent enough chap, but um, we are on a secret mission. Unless he knows that I'm... Come on, Colonel. Did you tell Jane that Mum's the word? Yes. Good. First class brandy. I'll say this chap certainly knows how to look after himself. Hmm. Well, he's one of them Americans, isn't he? Still, if you ask me, it ain't natural. What isn't? The way I see it is. If the white man was meant to go traipsing all over Africa, he'd have been born black. Rubbish. What about Gordon of Khartoum, Dr. Um, uh, Dr. Livingston, all those fellows? They're dead, ain't they? It's the heat that kills them, you know. Thins the blood. Shut up and drink a beer. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it was Hemingway. Oh, sure, I... I read Rice Burroughs and Ryder Haggard as a kid. But that Hemingway, to feel the cool wind of the night and smell the smell of Africa. Uh, he knew exactly what he was talking about. And then, uh, like that, it all happened. One day, my daddy called me in his office. He said, son, you ain't ready to come into airplane business yet. First, you got a lot of living to do. So he writes me a check. He said, go see the world, then come back and take over. <laughs> so you came straight to Africa? Yeah, that was about three years ago. Look, that's enough about me. Jane? Yes, Jack? I think there's something you ought to know. I always come right to the point, straight from the shoulder. Now about you and this colonel. You, you two, uh, well, what I mean is, uh, Look, let me put it to you this way. I work with him. I'm his assistant. Oh, God, that sure is one hell of a relief. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing way out here? Ah, oh, well, that's rather a secret. 
Ah, oh, come on. Now, you can tell me. Well... Oh, well, if you must know, it's, uh... Well, it's big game hunting. What? Oh, yes, the Colonel's a crack shot. Wait a minute, Jay. What are you saying here? Britain is at war. That that great little country of yours has got her back against the wall. What, what the hell are you doing out here? You gotta be out there fighting them damn Nazis. Not out here killing innocent animals. What kind of people are you? Oh, Jack, it's not like you think. There are reasons. Yeah, sure. Bunch of cowards. One thing I can't stand is a coward, man or woman. Calm down, Jack. Like hell I will. Shit, I should have let my gumbo keep you and eat you right down the damn bone. Well, to tell you the truth, I think the time has come to tell you the truth. The lost city, billions of diamonds, Nazi agents. Colonel, sir, you must think I was born yesterday. For the umpteenth time, it's true. And keep your voice down. No one the whole world to know. Jack, why do you think we're here? I'll get all of you to Abu Abu, and then you're on your own. What's wrong? Coming to the territory of the water warriors. Is that bad? Very bad. Don't think I like the way he said that. We don't know much about them except they are killers. Okay, everybody, just keep your eyes peeled. like to know there's a crocodile right behind us. Oh, hell, Jane, I'm trying to start the engine. Why do you bother me with stupid things like that? You should be looking out for the water warriors. Sorry. Go away! Oh, my God. Yeah, I guess that is a water warrior. It's all right, Mr. Toombs, just a lone scout. I've got news for you. Some of his mates have come out to play. I suggest you get that out for guy. I'm doing my best. Come on, baby. Come on, talk to me. You have switched the fuel tap on. Don't be stupid. Of course I've switched. Oh. River Divide. Which way? Take a left up here. It's a shortcut. Give an up. give up so easily. The question is, why? I think I've got the answer. Oh, damn. I knew I forgot something. the shortcut.
I say we should head west. With respect, I seem set this the wrong direction here, Donna. They are here. Who? The Colonel and Jane. So much for their plane crashing. They should both be dead. They will be dead. I will kill them, Donna. <laughs> you must let me kill them, sir. Honor of my family is at stake. I owe it to the memory of my two dead sisters. Quiet, <laughs> Richard. <clears throat> Lola. He'll bungle it just the same way his brothers did. Let me handle it. Come along, Holmes. Right. Well, here we are, I'm in three, you're in four. The first thing I need is a good hot shower. Well, I intend getting my head done. Oh, that is a good idea. Not true, Holmes. Miss Jane needs some decent clothing. There's about to be a dress shop around somewhere. A dress shop? You don't like that word. Oh, anything would do, Tombs, just so long as it's clean and dry. Well, I'll see what I can do, Miss. Oh, thank you. I'd better give you my measurements. No need, Miss. Your vital statistics is indelibly imprinted on my memory. <laughs> well, well, don't stand there, smoking man. Get on with it. They don't even realize we are here, so they will not be on their guard. We will eliminate these British once and for all. <laughs> Good. First, I will kill that spine of a colonel. No. The... You will take care of the colonel. Quietly, with your hands. You don't think I can do it? You will take care of the girl. What? But I want to kill both of them. No. Very well. I will just kill the girl. Beautifully. Dr. Shep. Me? You will make sure that the servant Tombs is kept out of the way. How will I do that? Talk to him, buy him a drink, anything. Oh, so I don't have to kill him. You? You couldn't kill time. Right. The colonel is in room three, or the girl in four. You both know what to do. I will take care of the other one. Your health, sir. You are a true gentleman. <coughs> You're right about women, though. They may look as if butter wouldn't melt in their mouths, but you can't trust them. Dogs you can trust. Horses you can trust. But not women. With the lion, you know exactly where you are. True, true. Did I tell you about the grizzly? Hmm? Ah, a fearsome creature is a grizzly. It was up in Canada I was prospecting for gold in 21. Or was it 22? No matter.
excuse is anyone sitting here? Would you care for a drink? So, I always enjoy a beer chaser. I was after opals, you see. Well, everyone was getting along famously. And suddenly, out of the blue, this woman appeared. Hello. What is your name, stranger? Paddy Rafferty, ma'am, at your service. Jack Buck. And you. You're a woman, man. You Americans, you're so perceptive. And where do you come from, Jack? Out there, the jungle. That's where I belong. Mm. Body like this. I bet you move like a leopard's feet. I sure can. Show me. What? Dance with me, darling. Interrogate the American. Come on. <laughs> then I remembered the story about the green-eyed yellow god, so I put the ruby back. Wisest thing I ever did in my life. Hey, did I tell you about how I discovered the lost city? You found the lost city? We laughed. You found it wouldn't be lost. It is only about 20 miles from here. Where? Where? I wouldn't go back there for a million pounds. Barely got out of my life. And I wasn't even looking for the place. Where is it? Where's what? It's a lost city. Ah, now it is all years ago. Although I do remember there was this old volcano. Well, I be. Isn't that the very place? What is? What are you talking about? The picture. That's the very volcano and that's the mountain. The lost city is between the two of them. Are you absolutely 100% sure of this? Absolutely. That's the place for sure. Please, I think it is. That's his swine. Uh, uh, he's tough. Most men would have broken by now. Fool, total, you know nothing about torture. Every man has his Achilles here. 
You must make me work on him, Lola. You're wasting your time. He doesn't know anything. You're just saying that because you have failed. I found it. I found it. The lost city? Yes, yes. I know where it is. Oh. Wunderbar. Gentlemen, we will leave at once. But I haven't had my turn yet. I want oh, to talk. Listen, you incompetent creep. No, no, I am feeling good. Go on, enjoy yourself, Liebling. Thank you, Lola. <laughs> Mr. Toombs, wake up. Mr. Toombs, wake up. Excuse me. Ooh, any time, Missy. What do you have? Have you seen Mr. Buck? Jack Buck? Oh, that American chap, yeah. He went off. Off? Off where? How do I know? One minute he was dancing with this dame, and uh, then they went off together. A real good look at do, you know. I see. Thank you very much. Uh, Miss? Yes? Uh, anything you need, any time, just sort of a whistle. <coughs> So simple. The Hemel wheel was an invention of my grandfather. You do understand how it works. Dirty swine. What? No! Oh! Uh! Never mind. You soon get to the point. <laughs> Candles to light you to bed. For spears to chop up your head. There's no other word for it. Just damn bad manners. At least the fellow could have done was to say goodbye. A typical American. Personally, I think we're better off without him. What? I thought you were a bit sweet on the chap. As far as I'm concerned, I hope I never see him again. Really? Well, I'd better get this safari organized. Come on, Toombs. My God, look at the man. Oh, see what you can do with him, Jane. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. What do you need is a pint of brandy and six raw eggs. Thank you, but I think we'll try the black coffee first. Mm -hmm. Mr. Toombs? No. Oh. Tombs, drink up. Gone. It's gone. Just drink your coffee. You'll soon feel better. Nazis, they've stolen the lost city. It was there on the wall. Yes, yes, along with all the pink elephants. Look <coughs> at <coughs> <Yes. coughs> Down there. What the hell does it look like? Will you get me out of here? Who did this to you, Jack? Some dame called Lola Pagola. Will you just get me out of here? Lola Pagola? Well, don't you realize she's Hitler's most deadly agent? Oh, no. Oh, yes. She's evil, vicious, and ruthless. She lures men on with her beauty and. Jane, will you just cut to biography? Jack, I can't open the door. There's a way in through the top. If you 
St. Jane, will you hurry? Will you hurry? Hurry, Jane! Okay, I'll die happy. Jane, save yourself. We'll make it. Look out! ill-equipped. Listen to me, Colonel. I want to get those guys. I'll be damned if a bunch of Nazis are going to rough me up and get away with it. But, dear boy, we have no food, no equipment, no tents. Yeah, we don't need any of that. Travel fast, travel light, live off the land. We don't even have a gun between us. I don't believe in guns. Well, suppose we meet a lion. Well, I tell you what you do, sir. You look at that big boy right in the eye and you outstare him. Works every time. Hell, uh, hell, almost every time. Almost? Yeah, some lions are short-sighted. Oh. Great. Think back, Toons. Try to remember what was in that picture that was so important. Not really well. It's all a bit of a blur, is last night. Oh, don't worry, Toons. It'll all come back to you. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> what do you find so funny, little man? I'm laughing because I have finished the job you have failed to do. What do you mean? Sir Colonel and Jane are no more. With my genius for timing, I have left a little surprise for them at the Imperial Hotel. <laughs> You know, Barman, there's something been worrying me about that wall. Oh, I know what it is. Your clock stopped. And when you're ready, you can give me another double. I think you'd better make that a single. Haven't you found it yet? It is difficult. There are three extinct volcanoes marked on this map. But the shell, the one in the painting, is clearly not extinct. Yes, indeed. And in 1891, the exact date on the painting, Professor Kent, in his travels through Africa, refers to feeling the ground tremble and seeing a volcano erupt. So, then why the hell didn't you tell us about this thing before? <laughs> Because Professor Kant neglected to mention which volcano it was. You want your damn books? 
This means we will now have to investigate all three. You should have listened to me, Lola. This man has been wasting our time. From now on, I will leave this exposition. And one thing I will not be needing is this. Soon be dark. Cheer up, Colonel. You'll feel better once we've eaten. Yeah, I'm starving. Wonder what Jack's managed to bag for the pot. Oh, that's a thought. Fire. Tombs. Why don't I make a fire, sir? Good thinking, man. Managed to remember anything yet? No, miss. I'm too busy thinking about food. Well, hi there. Yeah. We're in luck. Well, uh, we've got ourselves a feast here. Yeah. yeah. You call this a feast? Jack, you said we'd be living off the lab. That's right, sir, but you got to know the right places to look. Oh, my God. He's a ruddy vegetarian. the other day. I'm sorry. Sorry? What for? Oh, for doubting you and calling you yellow. You went to know. Hell, I should have known. First time I saw you, I knew you were different. I was right. <laughs> you saved my life. You're my kind of woman, Jane. I'm glad. I've never met anyone like you, Jack. Time we're moving on, don't you think? left it behind. It can only mean one thing. They know where to find the lost city. And so do I. It's all coming back. He said it was between the volcano and that mountain there. Now, all we need to do is follow them. I wonder how long ago they lived. Well, that's easy enough to find out. I'll just see how cold these ashes are. Ah, jeez! Or, in other words, not long ago. <clears throat> Look. This proves we must be on the right trail. This cigarette's Egyptian, and it's got lipstick on it. Lola Pergola. We'll need to watch our step. Ah. No, sir, not up toward the mountains. Why not? You were about to fall for the oldest trick in the book. Oh, was I? Yes, sir. If this woman is as clever as you say she is, well, she's obviously laid a false trail. Now, my guess is she went right up this way. What oh, through the forest? Jack does know about these things. Oh, very well. And do keep up with those tombs. So. It was a wrong volcano. I'm sorry. Shut up. From now on, I will lead this expedition. Didn't I tell you he was all brawn? No brains, Lola. Not like you and me, huh? And you can shut up, too, you sycophantic psychopath. Thank you, Lola.
sure you don't lose that painting, Mr. Stroom. Be damn glad to get out of this forest. This gives me the creeps. But once you get to know it, Colonel, the forest really is a friendly place. Stay close to me, Jane. Jane? Jane! And that woman is under my command and protection. Here, you can't do that to my colonel. Get your hands off me. Oh, I get it. Single combat, huh? All right, bring out your bravest warrior. you on the hockey field. Trial by poison. <laughs> Are you sure? Then after they kicked me out of Rodine, I went up to Oxford. Oh, I had a wonderful time. We'll still be there if my aunt and mummy hadn't chosen to both die at the same time. Well, of course, when that happened, I had to pack it all in and come back. I mean, after all, one does have one's duty to do. Oh, quite. Say what you like, but I believe tradition is very important, don't you? Absolutely. Tell me, uh, what was your first impression? I mean, how do you think I look as the Leopard Queen? Most impressive. Very regal. Really? Oh, do you have some more Galoopa juice? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oof, powerful stuff. <laughs> look, I hate to spoil the party and all that, but, um, well, what do you intend doing with them? Well, of course, in Auntie's time, you'd all be dead by now. She was a great stickler for privacy. Naturally, I'll have to punish them. Not quite sure how. Perhaps I could cut something off. You can't possibly cut those off. Why not? They do it to horses. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll think of something. And after all, I mean fair play. They did come here to steal the diamonds. Well, they weren't for us personally, you know. We wanted to borrow them for Britain's war effort. Ah, you mean the Empire should rally to the flag? Exactly. And while I think of it, there's a bunch of Nazis after those diamonds as well. Halt! Lola. The river. That is the answer. If they built a city, they would build it near Vogt. A brilliant deduction. So, that is the right volcano. I was right. Look. Come back, you swine! Uh, 
Shoot, damn you! See? Yes, yes, Toons. We're fully aware we're in the lost city. And in the middle of their temple, so start praying. No, I meant up there. Look at the volcano. Oh, God, that's all we need. Unfortunately, by the time great great grandmother died, she was completely gargoyle. Took the secret with her to the grave. So there are no diamonds. Oh, yes. They're here all right, hidden somewhere in this damn temple. Only no one knows how to get at them. On and off, we've been searching for the past hundred years. Oh, luckily, the royal family always kept uh, a few rat for petty cash. But apart from those, the cupboard's bare, I'm afraid. Warriors, are you men or children? <laughs> no, this is too much. Every time that bloody mountain starts to rumble, they always charge off into the jungle. But they'll stay there for days, you know, and the point is, nothing ever happens. Oh, a couple of tremors, a bit of smoke, and it's all over. And to think I gave up Freddy for all this. Freddy, the boy I met up at Oxford. Actually, he's an Arab prince. Oh, just to think of him makes me go weak at the knees. Oh, if only I could get back to England. I'll have you free in just a second, Colonel. Sue! No, Jack. She's a friend. Oh. Oh, shit. It's really happening this time. Oh, Flommy, let's get out of here. And stay where you are, Toombs. I promised Mr. Churchill that he'd have those diamonds, and I'm damned if I'm going to give up simply because some blasted volcano has chosen to erupt. Well said, Colonel. Fritz. Where's Fritz? Oh, Fritz. She's too big for you. Colonel, if you find these diamonds, you can have them for the duration of the war, providing you get me back to England. Why should you help us? Very personal reasons. Um, <laughs> you've got yourself a deal. We should be there very soon now, Lola. You have been saying that for the last half hour. Get up, you lily livered coward, or I'll shoot you! Shh! There is nothing. I can hear no more tremors. Good. Onward. <laughs> All right. Turn these big boys so they're all facing outward. <laughs> Nothing. Well, at least that ruddy volcano stopped rumbling. Oh, for heaven's sake, Tombs, just concentrate on the job in hand. Let's keep her cool, Colonel. Finding the right combination is obviously going to take a little time. A little time? My people have been trying for the past hundred years. I did warn you. Well, hell, these statues weren't put here for nothing, right? Is that right, Colonel? Right. Jane? Right. It's got to be here. <laughs> Jane, baby, you did it. Like those two. 
Fortune's Jack. Right. My ancestors! Ooh. Reminds me of my clock. Want the diamonds, Colonel? You must allow us to do it for you. All of you, stand back. No, on either side, but I can see you. Carl, get the chest. So, Colonel, you may have beaten me in the past, but you have lost the last battle. I always knew I could beat you in the end. Don't you be too sure of that, Lola Pagola. No, we're not done for yet. But you soon will be, this time. Remember my dead brothers, Lola, you must let me have them. Very well. I'll make it quick before you get burned alive. How I will sign by this moment. <laughs> Shall I get it first? So many choices. And will it be in the head? In the heart? Will it be slow and lingering? I'm going to rush a little twop. No, sir. I shall do it. Goodbye, Colonel. Stop speaking down on your knees! You're dead! The entrance! No! Well, folks, I think we're in trouble. Look out, Jane, behind you! Are you okay? Sorry about that. Hi there, great grandma. Ah, no good. I'm never gonna be able to lift that. So, when we get out of here, you're going back to England to find Freddy. When? Don't you mean if? Who is this here Freddy? Oh, just someone I know. You don't give up easy, do you, Colonel? I'm British. I wonder... what? Well, it's a silly story in my family that great-grandma was... Uh, terrified of being buried alive. Uh, I can imagine. But, being a clever old bird, uh, the story goes... Uh, she made arrangements to have another way out of her coffin. Well, for insurance, just in case. It used to give us nightmares thinking the great grandma might pop out of the ground at any time. Ooh. Are you all right? Yes, it's true. Great grandma did have another way out. Come and see. Careful, Jen.
Take it easy, folks. Yes. One could cough and a lot could come down. came all the way back from England. Love, Colonel. Love. Oh, oh, Dad. Why didn't you ask that Freddie and his mob help us track down the Nazis, Colonel? Because, Tombs, this is an entirely British affair. Aided, of course, by our... American ally. It's a plane. It's ready to take off. Put in Pagola. Very well. Go. Once we are airborne, I wish to speak to Berlin. Just how much these diamonds really are worth? A million, billion Deutschmarks, maybe more. Don't you get any ideas, little man? Me? No, no. I was only asking. I'm 
just been on the radio. I spoke to the children for myself. Hi, Hitler! Shut up and fly the damn plane. What did our beloved viewer have to say, Lola? He... He was overcome with joy. When I described the diamonds to him, how many there were, he started to cry. Our Führer cried? All great men cry. I am to tell you that he has awarded me two iron crosses, which he will personally present to me when I land. And Field Marshal Goering has ordered fighters to escort me back to Germany. Poor me, snatched card. Success is mine. Ach, oh, yeah. I nearly forgot. Each one of you will receive... a signed photograph of the Führer. Frost. think I want to go to Germany. No, we've got to do something. Pretty damn fast. Time's running out. You know, there's only one thing I'm unhappy about, Lola. What is that? I would dearly have loved to have seen the Colonel and Jane die. Slowly. Slowly. Right. That does it. gonna give in or am I gonna have to thump you first? I surrender. I found you, Colonel. My father was a policeman. Yes, and your mother? She is in the SS. So you want to play dirty, huh? Any way you want it, Colonel. Well, this is a trick I learned on the playing fields of Eek. <laughs> we Germans know all about your English tricks. Really? How about this one? The old knee in the groin. Who will play, sir? I'm wearing you down. That was a parachute. Good dear. Jack? Where's Jack? Where to, folks? Oh, Jack, do you have to go? Yeah, I'm afraid. 
afraid so. That guy over there has spent weeks looking for me all over Africa. But right now... Jane, listen to me. There's a lot of trouble brewing in the Pacific. And with my knowledge of the jungle... Damn it, when Uncle Sam calls, you just gotta go. Come along, you two. Time to celebrate. The diamonds are safely on their way to England. Mr. Churchill is delighted, and to show his gratitude, he has awarded us 36 hours leave. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Well, that means that you two young lovers... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something wrong, too? Are you all brand new, sir? Ah, oh. the rewards of the just, what? <laughs> Did I say something, too? I know, sir. I just think they wanted to be alone, sir. Ah. Jolly nice tune you were playing just then. I'll play it again, sir. Will we ever meet again, Jack? You're damn right. No war is going to keep us apart. Just the way you are, sweetheart. Wake up and I. 